Sup dogs, welcome to my Teemo Top Champ Guide. Get these masteries, 21, 9, and 0. And get these runes, movement speed quints, attack speed marks, armor seals, and scaling AP per level glyphs. And then you're going to buy boots and health pots, and then you're going to go to your lane. So I am going to explain why I picked Teemo this game. This is a ranked, and uh, I basically kind of picked the Garen, so... It's very good if you guys want to verse like a melee melee champ without gap closers. Teemo is an awesome choice, and I would suggest playing Teemo against a uh, Garen top or Darius or um, well, he's very niche, and I'll show you why I got boots and movement speed quints. Teemo top, he's very fast. He has a lot of mobility. He has great poke. He has great damage, and uh, yeah, he's really fast. So even this Garen with this Q couldn't even catch me. He couldn't hit me. And I'm just poking him down while he's running away because I have movement speed quints and boots and he doesn't have boots yet. And since you know how Garen works, he has a passive which gives him um, increased health regen the, when he's out of combat for like 10 seconds. So that's why you always see me like trying to poke him down with something because that's less time he has on his passive to the proc. So that that's really good. You should always know the champs you're fighting and just... Just know what they're good at and know what they're bad against. And Garen is really bad against Teemo, so as you can see, I'm just really fucking poking him down with just with just boots, man. I'm just basically trying to kick his ass, try not to let his passive um, turn on so that he can't get his health back. But here's a level two gank. I'll slow it down for you guys. I get slowed. I get freaking queued by Garen, and I'm gone now. Fucking gone, Ghost and Flash. That's why I run it on Teemo. He's amazing. Um, Teemo usually gets ganked at level 2, I, I never expect it, but it just happens, but that's why I have Flash and Ghost, because of stuff like that, and, uh, it also helps for killing too, a lot more than Ignite sometimes, so, um, here comes the Vi to come kill the Garen, which was perfect, it stopped the Garen from getting ahead in levels and farm, which was awesome, it shut him down, or, not shut him down, but it got us first blood, and, uh, this Vi was just, just last hitting for me, so it was pretty awesome, he didn't push the lane until I got back. So I'm gonna ward now because I got I got pissed that I got ganked at level two. Like that shit can really fuck you up so badly. But um yeah, Garen, he's just trying to farm. He can't really do shit against me because I'm a lot faster than him now. I leveled up my my W next. Usually you wanna level up your E first, max that out as fast as you can. You get your W next and then get your Q as fast right after that. But since I was already since I was pretty confident against this Garen, I didn't bother getting the Q because I like getting extra damage. But um, once you get the Q, try to wait till he dives, like try to runs for you, and then blind him right before he hits you, so that he can't really proc his Q, which is perfect. And I'm just poking him down some more, making sure I whittle him down. He has he has boots now, so he's pretty fast. But I'm still Teemo. I still have my W movement speed boost, and uh, he can't he can't keep up with me, so it's perfect. So I finally get my Q now. Just starting to farm. Gotta practice my farming because I'm not that great at playing um, weak champions like Teemo with like no damage. I mean he has damage but it's not it's not like an AD champion where they have instant damage. His damage comes over time and he it makes him so good though. So Garen left lane, I don't know where he went. Just gonna keep farming, see what happens. Level up your E again when you level up. So I'm just practicing my last hitting right here. Um, Garen's over here. Looks like he got poisoned but I don't know. I didn't even touch him. Oh, I love this song. Don't you guys love it? Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh, you guys don't even know what it is, but once you listen to it, then you'll probably know. Yeah, I love this song. It's so good. I think it's Open Window by Midas and Yannet or something like that. It's really awesome. Um, the first song was Fracas and Darwin, Hard to Find. Check that out. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait over here until the minions push up a little bit. Then I'm just going to attack some Garen a little bit more. Make sure his passive doesn't work. He's starting to attack me, but now I'm starting to trade with him. I don't care. Do some damage. Why not? Oh, I get my ulti now. So um, I would say Teemo is pretty weak pre-level 9. So if you gank Teemo around level 6, you're going to get him because his ulti is only one mushroom like every 30 seconds. And when he turns level 6, that doesn't really help out. It's like having no ulti. But once you get like level 7, level 8, you're starting to put your mushrooms everywhere. Yeah, it becomes a, a big problem and it becomes a really good ultimate. But um, his mushrooms last 10 minutes, so always use it for warding, use it for vision. 
use it as much as you can. James got a nice double kill at bot lane, which was awesome. Um, Garen walked on my mushroom. I pretty much zoned him out. He can't come back the way he came. So he has to actually lose out an experience right here, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna start killing all these minions over here. Always call your MIAs because that will help out and it'll warn the enemy champion, the enemy lanes. I mean, your your team's lanes that the enemy is missing, and they'll be more prepared in case he tries to gank up. So always remember to do that. I'm putting mushrooms everywhere because 10 minutes is a long ass time, and uh, it gives you bush control. I ended up buying the needle, the large rod, which gives you 80 ability power, which is really good on Teemo. It gives him more damage. It gives him more everything. So. Pretty much, this Garen went back, he bought a uh, Boots of Swiftness, which is really smart of him, but he did not expect the Teemo that was running movement speed quins, so it sucks to be him, but like like I said, um, my, my Teemo build, this is my way, I don't expect you guys to play my way all the time, or at all maybe, but I think it's a really good way to play Teemo, especially against um, a melee champion top, and uh, you can just pretty much zone him out as like this, like how you're seeing right now. It's really, really powerful, and I would suggest you guys do it, because I just, this is how I always play Teemo now, it's just a huge, huge, like, difference, it's a huge difference having the movement speed, it's just awesome. And yeah, now that I got the needle, um, the large rod, it's, um, it's a lot easier to last hit and farm. So here comes another gank by Vi, I slow it down again. So I use my Ghost, I use my W. I start going on him, I know he's low so I know I can flash forward and get my Q off which will do some damage and throw another auto attack in there. I know he's dead already so I start running away. Sejuani missed her ulti which was perfect because I didn't have to dive, I already knew he was dead because I can pretty much calculate how much damage my, my Q will do. So I'm just gonna farm, push the lane a little bit. I was gonna go B but then I was like oh fuck it's just Sejuani, I can fight her. So I'm just gonna start pushing a little bit, get some more gold, hopefully put my mushrooms down so that I don't waste it. Every time your mushroom is off CD, you should be putting down a mushroom. You should already, you shouldn't have like three mushrooms stacked up. You should always try to put them down because it's 10 minutes, dude. You gotta, you gotta remember to ward everything, man. So now that I'm level 10, I'm just gonna start poking this Garen down. I just got my boots of swiftness, so I'm the same strength, but I'm a lot faster. And he, he, he thought he was fast enough to catch me, but now I have my boots of swiftness. So I'm pretty much faster than him always now, and there's no way he can catch up unless he hits me and make me lose my speed buff, but then I'll just use my W and just get away. But um, I'm going to go put down some mushrooms. I noticed I didn't put down a mushroom in my tri brush. You got to remember how to put your mushrooms in the, in the river. You got to put it um, diagonal or zigzagging so that you get the most vision out of your mushrooms that you can get. It's really smart to do. You should always try to do that. Mushroom the whole the whole river if you can, or mushroom by their blue buff so that they can't gank you. you you'll know if somebody's coming for you because you're Teemo. Teemo is just really impossible to gank at certain points in the game, especially if he can own his lane. You can't you can't do anything about a Teemo. If he's putting everything, if he's putting his mushrooms down in the right place, you're not gonna be able to get him no matter what. He can just go invisible. He can go B. He can do whatever. You can't really get him. Which is why Teemo is such an OP champion in my opinion. But uh, yeah, he's just pure fun too, so... I can't believe he didn't set off my mushroom over there. He starts running towards me. Um, I start poking him down now because I'm Teemo and I'm faster than him. So I'm just gonna do some damage and push him out. Because he was, he was getting pretty ballsy. And that's why I have a lot of um, health pots. So I'm just keeping my, my control of this lane. I don't want him to get experience, I don't want him to catch up, I don't want him to do anything in my lane. It's my lane, I will push what I want, I'll do what I want, you can't gank me because I have mushrooms where I want. And Vi is going to kill, or I think Vi did kill Garen, so that was pretty awesome. Um, I get down the top turret, and then after that I start heading towards mid and putting my mushrooms down in the river because, you know, having um, your mushrooms everywhere is just perfect. You gotta always remember to do that with Teemo. So I see mid turret is low, so I start pushing mid turret, start bringing that one down too, and yep, we get that. So I start putting my mushrooms, I was thinking of going B pretty soon, because I have like 1700 gold, but top was getting pushed, so I'm going to go clear it out, get all, get all this experience so I can stay ahead in levels. This Garen is probably really far behind me at this point, because I've been pretty much just like owning him in lane, and uh... That's what you want to do with, with champs. When you counter pick, you want to be able to do this when you counter pick. You want to just be able to zone out the champion because they can't handle you. 
And there's there's a lot of good champs. There's a lot of counter picks you can do. Oh my my screen just turned off. But um, so they're they're fighting dragon right now. I've seen it. But I was like, oh shit, maybe my team is just gonna poke because there's not enough people down there. It's just Lissandra and Jinx. But then I see him going in. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get in there. So I start heading down. I go on this um, I go on this Morgana. I use my ghost to get away from her ultimate so that I didn't get stunned. Ash's arrow stuns Lissandra, but we start going in on um, what's her face? Jinx. Jinx actually slowed her with the with the sponge move that she has, which is awesome. I was pretty amazing. Uh, Jinx was really good on this game, and uh, actually carried us pretty hard. But I'm over, I'm over here just trying to kill this Alistar, trying to go for the Ash, which he's just kiting us. But this Lissandra came in with her E and just fucking slowed him. Got the sponge thrown at him, got my poison on him, and he ends up dying because Lissandra is pretty smart. And yeah, that was pretty awesome. Good job, Lissandra. Good job, everybody. That was a good fight on us. Um, I'm gonna go push bot a little bit because I I want I want to get more gold. I only have like. 2000 or something i can't really see because my my resolution is pretty small so everything is pretty small but uh, i told vi to go help top i got my death cap i got a stinger too which increases your attack speed which is really good on a on a teemo um you can also skip the stinger and go straight for ronin's hurricane which is pretty good um i would suggest ronin's hurricane on a teemo if he's building ap because that that shit will just decimate enemy team fights it'll just be so strong and uh I'd also get Frozen Mallet too if you do go Ronin's Hurricane because then that just gives your team so much utility. It's an instant slow on three people. Um, and it's also really good for kiting and doing a lot of things. So Morgana ulted them and I start going in on her. So I got the kill. Ash comes in. She gets ulted by Lissandra. I start going on Ash. I start going on freaking what Alistar right now. So I start chasing him. I know I can kill him. And then he comes back in which is stupid of him. Um, Garen is over here. I'm looking at him. I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna get away. But look at this jinx. Look at this. Boom. What a pro sauce jinx, dude. I am pretty good at jinx, but she does get countered by certain team compositions. So I wouldn't. If you guys want to see a guide on her, I'll give you the most weight. I mean, the most. The team that will complement her the best and the team that will destroy her. Because I know her weaknesses and I know her strengths. And she is really strong unless she gets countered by like an enemy Jarvin or something like that. Because Jarvin just really fucks up Jinx's shit, man. His ult, if she doesn't have flash, his ult will probably kill her. Especially in any team fight. If he gets near her, she's dead. So I'm starting to go on this Ash. I'm like, oh shit, she can die. She's, she actually turned around and started farming. So I flash forward. I use my W to catch up. I tried dodging, but look at that Jinx! Boom! And I dodged the, the Sejuani ult, which is perfect. That's the second ult I dodged from Sejuani, which is awesome. Movement speed is perfect, dude. I love it. Being faster is really one of the best things you can have in this game. But, um, yeah, I start going back. I want to get, I want to finish my, my Nasher's Tooth. Um, you can also get Leandri's Torment, Frozen Mallet, Ruins Hurricane. You can go Morello Namicon, which is really good because that'll give you a uh, Ignite debuff, which is really good since I don't have Ignite. That'll be really good to like um, to duel with, and uh, the, they ended up surrendering soon. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was um, pretty good laning by me, and uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Show some stats at the end of this so that you guys can see what my team was doing. Um, yeah, that was a pretty fast game. And I hope you guys liked it. Uh, 306. Not bad. Not bad. So, I'll catch you guys next time.